What do we have here? Right next to my tent. Little snake friend. I don't know if you're familiar with this type of snake, but uh, if you happen to look at the tail, that is a rattlesnake. And it is a rattlesnake right next to my tent. And it looks like it's about to go under my vestibule. I certainly hope it doesn't choose to do that. That would really, really be bad. What do you do if there's a rattlesnake next to your tent? Exactly what I'm doing, just leaving it alone. Every single day so far that I've been camped here, there have been rattlesnakes right next to my tent. In some cases, under the vestibule here and under the other vestibule. Yes, go that way, that's a good way to go. He's picking up speed a little bit. Whew. Yeah, keep going. Oh my goodness. This is uh, definitely too close for comfort. Day one when I got here, I was making water and one came slithering behind me and I went, oh Jesus, a rattlesnake right there. And then a few hours later, there was one that went just straight under the vestibule here. I was standing here and I uh, happened to look behind me and it was coming down the hillside and just, come on. These zippers always get trapped on each other. Eh, stuck. I hate that so much, eh, stuck. They can never ever zip. But there was, literally, he slithered under and his little head poked out. Or his or her, whichever it may be, their head poked out. Okay, he's off in the grass here. And I just got back to camp here from a jog and there was one literally cruising right along here that went into the grass and I went, oh geez, what do I do? And then I happened to look over here and there was one right here, that one that you just saw. And it meandered around here for a while and I took a long, good long 15 minute video of it meandering around trying to figure out whether it wanted to go back this way. Their den or something is over this way, maybe in this bunch of bushes, I don't know, in this grass. But, whoa, geez, there it is. There it is, okay, there it is. There it is. I don't know where they're going, but maybe they have a den over here somewhere. But the two of them seem to be going back and forth through here. And uh, I realize I'm the interloper and I'm in the way. So when you see rattlesnakes, don't engage them. Just leave them be. If you engage with them, they'll get mad. And then next thing you know, oh, he's going off over there. Next thing you know, you've got an angry defensive rattlesnake. Okay, he's going off into that chervil over there. And that's the last thing you want. I've had angry defensive rattlesnakes and uh, it's definitely the last thing you want in your camp. So if you see a rattlesnake that close to your tent, just let it be. Uh, if it's trying to make a home, you're gonna have to chase it away. But most often they're just kind of passing through. Like uh, he's probably going back to his little den there for the end of the day. They'll come down in this green area. Sorry, just went for a run. I'm about to have my protein bar afterwards. Didn't even, I barely even got it out of the food bag before the snake comes cruising along here. I'm like, oh geez, the snakes are just going crazy. There's bull snakes everywhere. I'm in snake town. And uh, if you're out in this area here on the lower Deschutes River, you're gonna see rattlesnakes. So be wary, be ready, and keep your head on a swivel. Keep your pets on a leash, keep your kids on a leash. <laughs> the last thing you want is someone who doesn't know what a rattlesnake is or how to deal with one to, oh, look at the snake and go to try to pick it up or something. Or, you know, a, a dog gets curious by the rattle. Ooh, what's that? Doesn't understand that it's about to get a poisonous bite or sorry, a venomous bite. Ooh, it's super windy here. It's part of the problem is like, I need to get kind of set up dealing with this wind. It's definitely not forecast wind, but uh, whew, that is a, that has been a tense couple of minutes there. If you ever see a rattlesnake, just let it be. Do not mess with it. I mean, we don't want to kill them, that's for sure, because they do very important work. They're pest control. They eat mice and bugs. That's why they're down here along the river's edge where there's more, you know, sort of uh, life and activity than up in the sort of the drier grassy areas. This is the only green time of year that you're ever gonna see green here on the Lower Deschutes River. But uh, yesterday, I was just sitting here, just chilling out, enjoying the sun. The sun was about to go down. It was getting on towards snake time. And I looked over and a head poked out right there. And I kind of went, jump, oh jeez, oh my gosh. Because I'm literally, he's under my vestibule and he just cruises along like it's no big deal. And that's kind of the attitude they're gonna have. They're, they're generally not gonna be, you know, they can be territorial, snakes can be territorial, but 
these snakes are just kind of moving from point A to point B and you just want to leave them alone. So wherever you happen to go, snakes, I wish you well over here in these bushes somewhere. Please just stop coming through my, my spot here. I mean, I kind of realize that I'm probably like right in their road where they're going between wherever their den or their nest is over to their traditional sort of hunting ground here. You know, I'm the interloper, I'm in the way, but in the meantime, this is my area that I'm claiming for me and I'm not leaving for a couple more days. So snakes, you're just gonna have to deal with my presence. Wherever the heck you are over here, you're just gonna have to deal with my presence. I'm not gonna bug you, just don't bug me and we'll all get along. And that's what you should do if you ever encounter a rattlesnake in your camp like that. Just let it move along. Don't engage with it. Just let it be. It's not trying to eat you. It doesn't want to bite you necessarily. You know, it only, only has so much venom. You know, it can't bite you a million times. It only has so many bites before it is no longer has a defense of any kind. But, uh, whoo, that wind's pretty bad. I got to get, uh, getting a little warmed up here. Went for a jog and now I'm freezing because I'm in jogging clothes that are cold. <laughs> But uh, thank you so much for joining me here for a tense few minutes in camp while I kind of deal with a little rattlesnake encounter and give you a few tips on what to do if you experience the same thing. <laughs>